What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we are back with another Pokeball collection opening. Uh, this this product is like the talk of the town right now. To be honest, I'm a little surprised. In my honest opinion, I feel like the ETB is better, but one thing I will say is people seem to be getting some awesome pulls with these things. I'm talking about these things in case it wasn't obvious. So we do have more of these to open for you guys. We're going to crack into two more of these, one of each, one of the Ultra Balls and the Great Ball. I'm opening these two specifically because there's something a little suspicious going on. I'm not sure if you can tell. Oh, there's a lot of glared stuff, but it, there's like probably 10 packs in there, but in like the back middle, I don't see any. Most likely, like 99% chance the packs kind of just slid, but uh, yeah, you can kind of see like there's empty space in there. Um, so I want to make sure that all 10 are in there. So definitely, I'm not going to let you guys put you guys through watching me open this thing because there's just so much pies it's completely ridiculous so let's flash fast forward to the future here we go all right so i think we're all about set we do have all the packs some of them they feel like they have like a lot of air inside i'm not sure if anyone else has noticed that here is a couple code cards for i'm guessing the promos ah if only zorak were still in standard these are the promos. I only single sleeve them because we're probably going to have a number of these. Actually, I'll probably double sleeve them later. Zorak is very cool. I believe the first 10 is from the Metagross. And uh, so what I meant by... Yeah, it feels like there's... I don't know, just kind of wrapped kind of weird. It feels like there's a lot of air inside. I highly doubt... So there was 10 packs in each of them. Like, I don't know, does this look weird? It's kind of like... Whatever. You know, there's they were sealed properly and stuff like that, so I... Highly doubt there's any kind of tampering, but just, I don't know, like the gluing was kind of off. A little strange. Alright, so as always guys, hope everyone's having a good day, and hope everyone's been getting some good pulls. I feel like, oh, I saw a couple people post on Discord that they had some bad luck, but in general, I feel like the consensus is that pull rates are very good on this product. For our first pack, we have Erica's Hospitality, and then Misty. So a couple gym trainers, but nothing too good. All right, this pack is kind of normal. Thanks to all of you guys that have been joining the live streams. It's been a lot of fun to play PTCGO with you all. And uh, thanks for helping me work out the kinks in the stream. I have no stream experience and not really doing much research on my own time. Kind of just winging it. I figure we have like a month of streaming to work out different things. Eventually, I do want to do some stuff on the Switch to work things out there before in time for Sword and Shield to be re released. I still haven't, ah, Vaporeon. We didn't pull one last time, but we'll make it up in this video. And then a Swablu, very cute. Once again, the, I'm not sure if there's a second print wave, but I feel like these white sparkles, like there's so much, the, the white is very more defined. Um, I don't know, I feel like I haven't seen anyone else talking about that, but if you notice that, in your own polls, let me know because that really stands out to me at least. But yeah, it's been a blast streaming, and yeah, if there's other stuff that you would like to see on there, let me know. I'm definitely open to suggestions. Someone recommended uh, picking up Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee. My only hesitation there was maybe if I could find like a cheap pre owned copy, is I don't like the idea of buying a game with the known knowing that I'm only going to play it for a short period of time before, in this case, Shore and Shield comes out. Like, if there's a different game, like, I don't know, Mario Party or Mario Kart or something like that, that other people are interested in playing uh, on stream, let me know. That are... Oh! There are so many Umbreon fans out there. Um, there is... Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm terrible with remembering names and stuff, but uh, the the one with the kawaii comments. <laughs> Umbreon fan. Pokemon Lover95 is an Umbreon fan. Uh, there was someone that was in the stream yesterday. Was it like, uh, sorry, I'm not gonna pretend to remember your name, but that was running the Umbreon, the Dark, with Dark type deck. That was running the Umbreon tag team. So, really happy with this. Uh, so, at this point, we have Glaceon, Espeon, Umbreon, and now we're just looking for that Leafeon. So, a new shiny GX that we don't have. And it's an Evolution, and it's Umbreon, one that is one of the crowded favorites, it feels like. That is a good pull on all fronts. So, this is the Metagross. 
uh, box again. Off to a very good start. I believe that was pack number three. Moving on to pack number four, almost at the halfway mark. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling this. Uh, actually, let me know in a comment if so. This is kind of like our second video of, you know, not daily openings, but uh, bigger openings. And so let me know if you're feeling, ah, yes, like I said, we didn't get any Vaporeons last time, so we're coming back in earnest, followed by a 3 8 hitter with electric energy. But yeah, do I guess we're still in the middle of like the test run, but what are your thoughts on the new set of daily videos? I do want, or I still want to do a daily video, but it'll just be more stuff like the market stuff, product reviews, uh, Pokemon Masters, which is very boring right now. I've been talking to a bunch of people in YouTube comments about it. Potentially, I spend more thought complaining about the game in comments than I actually do playing the game because I just kind of do like the super courses or whatever uh, just to get the daily rewards. We got a Kangaskhan. And then a wheezing. All right, we got a good number of dud packs. Um, all right, see, this is another one that like there's so much air in here. What is going on? It's like there's like the card is giving off some kind of gas or something. Oh, it's like it's a wheezing in there. All right, so we have fire energy. Brock's Gym, Giovanni, Koga, Voltorb, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Ekans, Coughing, Bill's Analysis, and then a Misty's Gym. Hmm, getting a good number of dud packs. Actually, let me just do some for. Alright, so we already have to have the mark. All right, this was another air-filled pack. Four. But uh, yeah, really enjoying this product and kind of like what I said earlier, to be honest, I kind of, I really underestimated the popularity of this and I'm still confused why. Like I still maintain the ETB is a better product with those rainbow birds or the stained glass birds, but Actually, maybe it's just, you know, rolling with the hype that is Hidden Fates, no matter what it is. Even if they release, like, a new pin collection with, you know, a promo Caterpie, maybe it would still be hyped and everyone would be chasing after it and unable to obtain it. But this, this first box started really hot, got that awesome Umbreon, but we have gone... Things have chilled out and pulls are no longer present. Eevee, Ekans... Charmander, Psyduck, Bills, Analysis again. Ooh, another Kangaskhan. Let me just do a quick count. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So two more packs for this first one. All right, we're going to need not only runner runner between packs, but one of them is going to need to be a double hit in order to hit our five hits per, per 10 pack opening quota. So it's going to be tough, but it is possible. And that's, you know, I think that's why this one thing that really adds to it is even the, like ultimately shinies aren't that rare, but they just feel special because they're shiny. Whoa. And I feel like that really just helps the set and makes it so much of a pleasure to open compared to other sets. Pinsir GX, not a great card, but we'll take it. And then a shot. All right. There's our double hitting a double doozy pack right there so all right there's still hope we have one more pack to hit that five hit quota and um yeah that would be not a great box but we'll take it but yeah I, I say this a lot but cosmic eclipse i am really excited about it but there was no way the pull rates are going to be as good as here so all right, on to the last pack for our first box. We're going to need a hit to hit our quota. Can we do it? Psychic Energy, Giovanni. These are kind of uh, not sticky, but I'm struggling to kind of like pull the cards. Clefairy, Jigglypuff, ah, Kangaskhan, but we still have that reverse slot. Boom! 
Oh, nice, Mewtwo. That's a keeper right there. Mewtwo GX. Welcome to the team. I think this was the Mewtwo back in uh, when there was like, I think this was actually really good. All right, so actually this box turned out, man, that was a, last two packs were absolute magic. So, worked out. Metagross coming in big in the fourth quarter. And now let's move over to the Zorark box. Zorark is definitely the fan favorite over the Metagross. Well, that Zorark is a monster of a card. Good luck to whoever pulls these codes. I feel like it's interesting that um, when people pull like the shiny Zard, they're like, they're happy but disappointed. Like, oh my gosh, why couldn't I get this luck one in a real pack, which I think is really funny. Mr. Mime and then Nurse Joy. Pack number two for Zorark. High hopes for the second box. But, uh, alright, so, you know, when I was peering through the plastic, through the infinite layers of plastic, uh, it did look like, oh my gosh, there's there only eight packs in there, but it was all fine. The two middle ones just kind of slid between, uh, behind them. So, all good there, and no good here. Yeah, basically this box only had eight packs, because those two, <laughs> those two are major duds. All right, let's shape up. Come on, where's our first hit for this box? Here we go. Lightning, Brock's Gym, Metapod, Giovanni. Haven't pulled Giovanni in a few openings, so here we are, Zapdos. Another Lightning Energy. So our first half hitter, three ace hitter, is a Lightning Energy, very similar to the Metagross box. Ooh, Zorak, this is rough. This one's gonna need to come in clutch at the end as well. Jinx, Graveler, Farfetch'd. What are people's thoughts on that Sir Fetch thing? <laughs> Dude, I seriously thought it was a joke. It looks very, we'll just say interesting. No, it looks it looks kind of silly too. Actually, a lot of stuff about Sword and Shield. Some of the things look kind of silly. The, the shield, the shield uh, Pokemon, I can't remember his name, but that looks very silly. The wheezing with like the the smoke stacks on his head. <laughs> if you told me that was all like memes and stuff, like just made up jokes, like I would totally believe you. Like if someone said, oh, this leaked from uh, the Pokemon company. This is the... This is the new Pokemon that's coming out in Sword and Shield in like three months from now and it showed like that smokestack wheezing like come on just quit playing. Ooh, alright we got the birds very nice we did manage to pull all the birds at this point so I'm really happy to check all those off and coming in clutch again is another double hitter pack very nice so Viper and the birds regular art. So Viper we recently pulled as well and um yeah I'm curious if uh, how many people could tell, you know, if we just randomly show, like, hey, look at this a viper, and you have to quickly determine whether it's shiny or not. I bet a lot of people wouldn't be able to tell. To me, that's a bad. <laughs> to me, that's a poorly designed shiny. All right, so now we're at two. Still need. We still got some packs. All right, so we still have some ammo left, uh, but we're gonna need at least three more hits to call this a somewhat successful opening. Brock, Jigglypuff, Caterpie. Oh man, I'm starting to see all a lot of the Poketubers. Everyone's getting their Charizards. Where's mine? Not gonna be for lack of trying. Even though, you know, we did we did kind of cut the corner just because we did manage to pull a good deal on eBay on one. So we do have it in the collection, but we definitely have to pull our own. Right? Alright, Koga. LT Surge, Misty, Pikachu, Ekans, 
Coughing. Paris. Cubone. Weezing. And Psyduck. Wow, this opening is very swingy. Let's uh let's step it up. Oh, these longer openings, like you know, you do you do a lot of talking. I feel like I need some water. <laughs> I need a need a water break in between uh, boxes for these longer openings. Ekans, Paris, Caterpie, Lapras. Ah, Purge. Yeah, I wasn't dissing Lapras. I mean, just this Pokemon, the card itself. Oh man, super boring. So vanilla, 120 HP, 80 attack. Water, water, colorless. Hmm. And then Curlia, Curlia number six at this point. And the people that win the Discord giveaways for the Hidden Fades dupes giveaway, like, you know, not many people are lining up for them Curlia. <laughs> All right, all right. Two packs left. What is our current status? We have three hits, and to be honest, none of them are that great. No shiny GXs, no full arts, no golds. So even if we get two hits, I'm gonna need two really good ones. If the Zorark box is going to trump the Metagross one, we got Ekans, Paris, Charmander, Slowpoke, Golem for the rare, but. Ooh, stack attacka, nice. Shiny GX that we don't have. Checking many boxes. I always wanted to try to make this card work. Don't think it ever will, but it's a cool idea. Imagine a couple stack attackas, you know, use Lucario Melmetal, use its GX attack. It's like, you know, minus 60 damage. I think Blastoise has an ability too. Uh, Ultra Beasts take less, than, but it's, the rest of this stuff is not that good. Giga Stomp 120 for 300, Assembly GX 50 plus more damage for each Pokemon for each prize card you have taken. But I do like Sakataka, it's a pretty silly Pokemon. It looks like a bunch of like boom boxes that have assembled together to destroy the earth. And then the uh, you know Ash Ketchum has to go stop it or something. All right, last pack for this opening. I'll say this is a, you know, has been a, not a bad opening, but it didn't feel super good. So it's felt a little lackluster, I won't lie. But either way, of course, it's always fun to open Hidden Fates with all these hits. And we're gonna need one more card to hit our quota. We have Farfetch'd, Misty's Gym, Clefairy, Coughing, Voltorb, Cubone, Geo, dude, where's the? Oh, another bird. All right, so we did hit our quota, but beyond the sack attack, nothing too crazy. And then Brock's gym to wrap up this opening. All right, so Metagross definitely took this in good fashion for the Zorark box, which uh, yeah, kind of came up not bad. Uh, you know, there have been worse openings um, that I've seen, so I'm not going to complain too much, but. You know, nothing too crazy. We got we got our five hits though. Two birds, Curlia, Subviper, Stack Attacker. Very nice hit right there. And then for our Zoo or Metagross box, we did significantly better with Pinsir GX, another Reverse Energy, Deancey, which was the Prism Star one, Swablu, nice like that. Mewtwo, big hit right there, but boom. Biggest hit of the video, by far. Um, I might have to reserve that one for a special person in the community. Uh, but thanks again for watching, guys. Again, let me know what your thoughts are on these less frequent but bigger openings. Do you feel are you feeling this pattern, or do you prefer the daily thing? Let me know in a comment down below. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Wanna Turtle. And uh, catch us on the stream sometime if you haven't yet already. We kind of do it uh, in the evenings, EST time frame. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.